my my. Une ventilateur de châssis. I've always wanted one of these. Oh, quoi moi DVD de la I thought I had a couple of these somewhere. Oh. I think it's time for a uh, request video number three. YouTube random comment picker. Uh, no, no. Hello, Mr. Evan. Make a steering wheel Arduino joystick and steering wheel is 3D printed. Thank you for making us happy. Okay. Arduino steering wheel 3D printed. What else you got? Next, next, next. You ugly chink. No, no, ain't nothing I can do about that. Hey Evan, can you make a controller oh, of a fidget cube? Controller fidget That was a terrible idea. Uh, no, no, no. Placed wire a PS2 controller to USB. PS2, USB. This, this was a terrible idea. Evan, just, just go back to bed. Forget all this happened. It's not like anybody's gonna know that you tried to make them happy and you failed again. Go back to bed, 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 go back to bed. Design. Uh, USB means we gotta shove an Arduino Pro Micro inside it. I have no idea why, but it's USB supported, so. Steering wheel. Hey, whatever you want, man. There you go. You know what? How about two steering wheels? Uh, uh, uh. 3D printed? Are, are you kidding? Hey, 3D printed steering wheels. Ah, controller. It's a little late for that. Fidget. Man, you are just full of shit. Well, alrighty then. We'll just add some counterweights. Here, 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 here. And that'll make the wheel spin like a mother. I want this controller to be so fidgety that it'll make any JRPG play like QWOP. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> There's no ladies here. I present you the fidget USB controller of Kigassery. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to let you know that this is practically a vintage by now. A, a few more years, I, I can pay rent with this. I can buy food with this thing. Oh, the food I can buy with this thing. I think these holes are too big. There's nothing I can do but... Spinny wheels go here and here. Arduino USB is gonna come out from the top. These buttons we're gonna keep. These buttons we're gonna try to keep. Now for the steering wheel, we need something that spins really fast. I'm thinking something like a um, frictionless rotary encoder, if that is a thing. 20 bucks, are you kidding me? These are not rotary encoders, they're just motors. But if you spin them in one direction, you get voltage across terminals, and if you spin it in the other direction, you'll get the opposite voltage. How fast you spin it is how big the voltage is gonna be. In other words, way too much work. See, the problem is the motor's gonna generate positive and negative voltages. And the Arduino's gonna work off of zero to positive five volts. We could just get an op amp. Don't make me go get an op amp. You're gonna make me get an op amp. Let's go get an op amp. This is a quad op amp, four op amps in one, which is the same one as the one we used in this video. It, it's not clickable. Y you have to use the uh, card thing now. Um, take our first op amp, give that a voltage divider halfway between five and ground. This is now 2.5, add a capacitor here for good luck. Now the motor is gonna sit on this virtual ground and it's buffered into another op amp, which then gets output to the Arduino. Ugh. 
work. So essentially what we've done here is create a DC offset halfway between five and zero, where the motor now sits and swings between zero and five. So now the Arduino can read both the positive and the negative outputs of the motor. I'm just gonna let you pause the frame here if you have to. Uh, there. Are you done? Time's up. Mmm, this could work. Not too bad. Let's map it to a joystick axis. Ah, something doesn't feel right. Okay, I see the problem. So when you spin it really, really fast, it goes all the way up to the max value really quickly. But when you spin it really slowly, it hardly registers anything. We need a function that transforms the current motor output into something that's really sensitive in the beginning, but then it slows down as it reaches the max value. Okay, shift that to the left, uh, the left. Let's make it curvy. More, perfect. Add that into the code. Oh, so much better. Okay, while you weren't watching, I drilled out two more holes in the back of the controller, here and here. These holes are gonna be replaced by these motor mounts, which are gonna fit in like this, and the motor sits on top like Now we just gotta take all this and put it into this, this into this. Oh, and also I wanna keep the original board in here because it has the start and select buttons. Oh, hey there. Why, yes, I'd love to take a bullet in my head right now. Now we go design the wheel. <sighs> Why am I even doing this? Get a job, quit YouTube, be a salesman, or a panda, or a panda hugger. Oh, I do be a panda hugger right now. Uh, hi, my name is Earl, and I'm a 3D printer. Let's get a little closer. Ah, uh, uh, are you done? Yoink! Whee! Where are my steel nuts? I said, where are my nuts of steel? Oh, oh, ah, here we go. Another exciting episode in the adventures of Rock, a whirling vortex of wild, uncontrolled destruction. I can't bear it. Surprise, motherfucker. Brute strength and blind rage. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> Should have really bought that bullet. Here we go. Here we go. Nope. Nope. <gasps> See, this controller is all about momentum. <gasps> no, 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 no. Get that. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Definitely prolongs the life of a game. The games that I used to be good at just isn't a thing anymore. It's gonna be crazy, man. Pick up that lady. Break. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, no time for you. Jump! Oh! How did I not make it? <laughs>